Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming my June favorites video. Today is like June 26th, so we're close enough to the end um, <clears throat> of the month for me to talk about this stuff. This month I actually don't have that many favorites just because I've been so busy this month. Um, I started work this month um, at my summer job and I like, you know, graduated and did all that stuff. So it's been a little bit of a month, but I do have a couple things to show you some things I really enjoyed, plus some like non-physical items that I really enjoyed but really quickly I just wanted to go into a couple of updates so this video is going to go live on Wednesday the 27th my new filming schedule I'd like to be Monday Wednesday Friday um, I think that's an attainable goal for me but next week I'm gonna be at the lake on vacation and as you know every summer if you haven't checked those videos out I'll leave them or you should go check them out but um, I film my family's vacation to the lake so I'm gonna be daily vlogging for the next week so after the week of July 4th, I'm going to start the Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, right now, I'm thinking that I'm going to combine Friday night and Saturday into one video. So don't expect a video on Friday, but Saturday through Friday, I'm going to have a video up for you guys every day that week. Um, I know a lot of new people have been joining the fam, and I'm really excited. Uh, I think I'm, I'm finally in the motivational headspace, or to start this channel and my last couple of videos have been getting really positive feedback and obviously my channel has been growing so um yeah i'm really excited to start this journey and i think um it's really exciting that my youtube channel is finally taking off the way that i wanted um we've gotten like 20 new subscribers in the past five days which i know isn't a lot but it's a lot for me because the channel hadn't had growth in so long um so yeah, I'm gonna get into this video and then expect vlogs for the next week. Don't expect a video. There won't be a video on Friday. I'm gonna be traveling all day, but I will be vlogging. Um, the socials that are down in the description, follow my Instagram. That's where I'm gonna be posting stories and stuff like that. I have not opened my Snapchat to the public and I haven't opened my private Instagram. I have a YouTube Instagram that currently has no posts on it, but I'm hoping to get some posts on there soon. Um, I'm just kind of like not until it gets bigger. I'm not gonna open my private stuff So right now Instagram is the only place you can find me um, And I'll, I'll leave my Poshmark and other stuff in the description below as well. So I'm gonna get right into this video because I Don't want it to be too long, but those are that's all I have for like updates and stuff In general, I just don't wear a lot of makeup. I'm not a makeup person. I have never been a makeup person. I like to wear it on certain occasions, but not all the time. And I am a camp counselor, which means I'm outside all the time. I'm running around after my 13 littles, and I just don't want to just, it's too hot, it's too gross. I don't want to wear makeup. But my beauty favorites are both from Lush, um, and I'm gonna show you them. So the first one is Lush Whoosh Shower Jelly. Um, it looks like this. I'm not gonna take it out of the little container because it is a jelly, but when you open this, it's it's a legit, it's like a legit jelly. Like, it looks like, it feels like jello. Um, it smells amazing, and this got mixed reviews on the website, but I tried it and I love it. Um, this is my second container. Um, it lasts forever. The only reason I bought a second one was because I, like messed up with the first one but literally all you do is wet take the whole container put it under a little bit of water in the shower rub your loofah in it and rub it all over your body um it literally lasts so long i've had this one for a month and it looks full so i love this product i think it's like an underrated lush product honestly i haven't heard that many people talking about it so i love that and then a thing i think everybody knows about is ocean salt which um is a very popular lush product it comes in a pot and it looks like this and then when you open it it's white and blue I don't want to open it because it's kind of wet but um, I honestly use this every day and I know it's a scrub so most people don't use those every day but honestly I love this as an everyday just overall facial exfoliant um, ever since my job started I've been getting crazy I don't know if you can tell yeah my skin's been going insane but um this kept my skin clear for like a month um now that i'm just running around and doing stuff it's harder and honestly it's impossible but i'm trying my best but yeah right now honestly my skin's a mess so yes those are my two beauty favorites these sunglasses i'll show you i bought them on 
or I bought them at Urban Outfitters years ago. They're so cute. They're tortoiseshell sunglasses. And then it says, I don't know if you can see on the inside on this, um, what are they called? Stem. It says you can hide behind me if you want to. Um, I got these like two summers ago. They don't actually sell them, but they are just my favorite. I have a pair of Ray-Bans, Clubmasters, I have Aviators, I have Ray-Bans, I have two pairs of Ray-Ban sunglasses, and I don't like them as much as I like these. Like, I just don't, I don't know. They're like just the perfect tint, and they sit on my face really well, and they sit on my nose really nicely, and I just love these. And they were 15 bucks, so these are better than my Ray-Bans, which were like $200. Um, and they have a little gold detailing on the bottom, which I like and I'm a camp counselor and literally all you see all summer on my head are these sunglasses Like this is what I look like walking into work. Like I wear these all the time. I love them so much So I don't know if you can get them anymore, but Honestly, I'm just obsessed with these. I I go in and out of liking them But now I'm just like completely in love with them, especially since my job just requires that I'm outside so much It's really nice to have This these with me I have a pair of Birkenstock Arizona sandals that I've had for two years and I just don't like them. Um, I'm looking at them. They're like, do they don't, my feet are small, but they make my feet look so bulky and like weird. Like I just don't like them. I don't like the look of them. Even though I know that they're a classic Birkenstock, my dad literally wears them all the time, but I just don't like them. So recently these ones have been coming really like into trend. Um, the Birkenstocks Miari, I think it's called. The Miari, Miari, something like that. Um, they look like this. And they are really cute. These ones are gray. Um, I bought these brand new off of Poshmark. They had tags on them for $75. They're $125 a pair. So honestly, again, my love for Poshmark runs deep. But yeah. I had like a weird thing about not shopping from Poshmark. Now I shop there all the time. But literally I found these, I snacked that, I snacked, I snagged them the minute I saw these. They were literally, she had posted them 14 minutes um, before I ordered them. I offered 70 for them, but I was like, you know what? Someone's gonna pick these and 75 is so cheap for these. So I, I bought them off of her for $75. But they are just thinner strapped. They're way more comfortable. As you can see, I've had them for less than a week and I've already liked um made my toe mark in them um i just like them better they're more feminine they're more um they're skinnier they go with more things and they look better with more things and i'm just obsessed with them so honestly my arizona's might be going on my poshmark um the only thing i don't like about buying poshmark um birkenstocks is that if you buy them used they're already molded to someone else's foot and they're never going to fit you the way they're supposed to so i don't know but yeah these are just really 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 cute and i really like them a lot the other pair of shoes that i want to talk to you guys about are my chacos um again chacos are like birkenstocks you either really like them or you really hate them these are my chacos and these are this is my third pair of chacos i've had two of these this style and one of the just no toe strap um versions um these ones i got on sale at rei for 56 dollars, and i think they were like a previous year or something but they were in my size they were the last ones left they were on the clearance rack and i was like i was planning to go into rei and spend like 130 dollars on them and i got them for 56 or something like that something crazy like that so i actually don't know if they have this style anymore but um i'm gonna link the chaco's website and you can maybe look for them um but yeah these are so comfortable um, they're great water shoes. They're great for anything. You can hike in them. You can walk long distances in them and they're just really cute. I would recommend if you if you're like on the fence about Chacos, um, I recommend getting the ones with the toe strap in them because they look a little bit better than the ones without the toe strap in them. They like make your toes, the ones without the toe strap just make your toes like splay out and it looks kind of gross. But yeah, these are honestly, honestly this month I've worn them more than I've ever worn my Chacos in the past. Um, and for these are like a preppy staple like if you're preppy you have chacos um, <clears throat> They are an acquired taste, but I would recommend wearing them with like a preppy t-shirt some athletic shorts and like that's a cute outfit um, Honestly, that's honestly what I wear most of the summer um, when it's like cold enough to wear long sleeves That's what I'm wearing. So yeah, those are my two shoe favorites and then my last two clothing favorites um, these are the Lululemon Speed Up shorts. They look like this. Um, and then these are the high-waisted ones. 
um, they've got a packet in the back and I love them I bought these last summer so these are a year old but li literally just this month I've been wearing them so much to work out and to just do everything in so um these are like $68 like most Lulu shorts are about $70 but so worth every penny um they're really comfortable they're tight they're tight enough fitting but they're also appropriate and they're just really comfortable um and they don't like they don't even wear like some people like lululemon wonder unders they like pill but those don't so and then my last fashion favorite is just lj shirts in general um lauren james is a company that i actually bought my grandma the dress i wore to my grandma's wedding was an lj dress and that was kind of like my first lauren james purchase and i normally like normally i know them for their dresses but recently i've been picking up some of their t-shirts this one was a collab they did with country club prep so the bow tie has the country club prep logo and then they have seersucker um sperry's on them this one's so cute i love this one um and i just really like them they print in like a comfort colors t-shirt type of material they're so soft and they wash super well so and like the more you wash them the softer they get and i just love them so much so yeah and they're not that expensive they're like 32 dollars i think i mentioned this in all of my favorites videos my spotify favorites playlist is always linked in the description um that's where you can keep up with all my favorite music um honestly it's all country mostly but if you want to know all my favorite songs they're in there i'm not going to put them in here but um this past couple this this month i've been wearing my apple watch every day i got an apple watch for christmas i got the series one um do i regret not getting the series three not really i don't wear it enough and i've actually had times where i thought i was going to sell this so i don't love it enough to like buy the one with the gps and stuff but i do love it enough to put in my favorites video um it's really helpful just um at my job i can't use my phone but i have to have it on me all the time um and so if my boss texts me or my coworkers text me and they need something or they need me to bring a kid something i can check it on here instead of doing that and plus it's less conspicuous because if this is on your arm kids love saying like what's that what's that and i have little ones so if they see this on my arm and i'm like just checking it they don't think about it but if i take my phone out and i'm like checking through my phone then they notice it more so i really like it um it's dead right now because i wear it every day but yeah i do love my apple watch and the series one is a great starter if you don't know whether or not you're gonna love it just get the series one and then other random favorites i've been loving PUBG. i don't have PUBG on um a computer because i don't have a pc i have a mac which i know i could get it but uh i, I don't have it my boyfriend's a big gamer and so he like has like the legit computer that he built and stuff but i'm not about that life so i played on my phone so i'm a PUBG mobile person and me and my boyfriend we play together all the time we've won like a lot lately so we're pretty good and me and my friend sabrina my best friend we play a lot and we win all three of us together a lot too because honestly we're just we're just good at it um but yeah it's so addicting um if you like i'm, I'm a fortnite like my friend sabrina was a fortnite person and the reason she switched to PUBG, she said was because it's more realistic and you can actually like win because you're not playing against pc and phones you're just playing against mobile people so my first book favorite is when life gives you lululemons this book um if you've read the devil wears products from the same person um and it's actually set in uh the area in which i live um and my coworker was reading this and i was like oh my god that's such a funny title and then i started i bought it and i read it and i started to read it and i'm like oh my gosh this book is so good so if you're like me and you like i don't even know what i would say about this book but like i really like it um it's about 16 dollars hardcover which is not bad you can buy it on amazon i'll link it down below just like everything else and honestly obsessed with this um so i love it so much and then my last favorite is girl wash your face which i know was super popular a few months ago um and i just bought it because i was late to the bandwagon but or bandwagon i guess yeah so um her books the chapters are based on like lies so like um i don't want to give away that much but um it's it's a self help kind of book it's not like 
um, it's not like a fiction book, but like the lie, something else will make you happy. The lie, I'll start tomorrow. The lie, I'm not good enough. Stuff like that. So each chapter's um, like that. And I honestly love this book. It's super motivating and super inspiring and it's funny and I just like it a lot. Those are my favorites for the month of June in 2018. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below the videos you'd like to see. Anything you wanna see, leave it down in the comments below and I will see you guys on Saturday for the first daily vlog of the week. Bye guys.